Good afternoon, it's Jeff and we're in my bedroom. And this afternoon I want to show you this block of wax. It weighed 6.9 kilos. And I'm going to show you how we process our beeswax from the start to the finish. So I want to talk about these capping. This is getting a bit of a build up now. So what I do is, once the honey has drained out of the cappings a fair bit, what I do is just load up these four litre ice cream dishes, fill them chop a block. Now I have about five of these ice cream dishes operating at the same time. When I'm satisfied, enough cappings in there so that it won't overflow, I put it in the microwave for about, in this case about, in our microwave about 13 and a half minutes. So what it does, it just warms it up and it brings the wax to the surface. All you do is wait till they take it out, wait till the, the wax sets and I'll show you that directly. Now, ideally, you can see what's happened here. The wax has become liquid around the outside and the middle part is still cappings. So that's, for me, that's ideal because I know that I haven't overheated the honey. People say you can't put honey in the microwave. Well, you can't if you overdo it. So if you put honey in the microwave and then you uh, heat it up too high and bring it to the boil, you're going to destroy the goodness out of the honey. Now, so what I do doesn't destroy any of the goodness out of the honey. And how you know your honey is still good is when your honey still crystallizes. Now, in a couple of occasions, I've had a whole bucket of honey that's come out of the microwave and it's still crystallized at the same length of time as the other honey that didn't go through the microwave so it's important to just sort of limit how much time you put the honey in the microwave so all you do is now that the it's cooled down and I've got my my bin here put all my chunks of wax so what I have here is my single burner hot plate and have this old bread bin here which I've put a little pouring spout on the on the side of it and this holds about 16 litres I just measured that now what I do is put three litres of water in there and all my chunks of wax what I do is just bring all this to the boil I bring it up to within about three inches of the top and then what I do is set my timer inside the house so I don't forget have a heap more wax here in this bin here and this is only one of the bins <laughs> I've got about three of those bins of wax so as you can see here a couple of hours later my wax is warming up nicely and I've now what I have here is a standard plastic wax mould you can buy from any beekeeping supplies shop Every three or four times I do a block of wax, I just spray the inside of the mould with a bit of cooking spray. What I have here is a wooden frame that sits on top of the mould, and it's made to suit the mould. In between this wood here, there's termi mesh. So that's a product that you can buy on the market called termi mesh, which is a real fine stainless steel gauze which is used on house slabs to stop termites from eating their way through. So that sits on top of the mould. Now my wax has got a nice boil going here. I haven't let it boil too hard. I'm just going to set my camera up because Wilma's at work. Just with the soup spoon, just work it around and make sure all the liquid drains out of the slum gum. This slum gum is just fantastic in the garden. It used to be really good in the garden before we got small hive beetle. But the small hive beetle likes to breed up in it. So that's one thing you've got to be careful of. you just got to be careful where you store this stuff. When I bury it, I bury it nice and deep. So I think that the beetle can't get into it. And the earthworms just absolutely love this stuff. So this is what you're doing here. You just work on the slum gum make little all the liquid drain out of it all the water and wax another thing that likes this stuff 
is rats. It's a good way to know if you've got any rats around. When you leave this out overnight, if there's any rats around, you'll, they'll, they'll chew into it and find out if there's any food in there for them. I think the smell must attract them. What I do is just put about four towels over it and then just leave it covered for 24 hours. You'll notice overnight, even on a cold night, the next morning it's still warm under the towel. What you're doing is you let it cool down really slow and that avoids the crack. Now, one going that way, another one going that way, another one going this way, another one going that way. So that's basically it and I'll just check it out in the morning or tomorrow sometime. So it's been about 20 hours since I put this in here and moving. We had a very cold night last night. However, it's still warm in there. Now you see here that's a slum gun left, left over. Take this outside. You can see it by covering it up and keeping it warm that it didn't have any cracks. Mm. So it's all come away from the sides. Now it's cooled down a bit more. So I just want to tip out the water to show you the colour of the water. Now you can see what happens. What happens is the water takes the... Cleans it. Cleans up the wax. Takes the impurities out. Yeah. That's not wasted. That goes in the garden. That's so good. you can't you can't put that directly on the plants. It'll burn them, but you can water it down and use it as a liquid fertilizer or you can just put it between the rows good fertilizer isn't good it? good fertilizer nothing out of a beehive is wasted what i'll do is i'll take it around to the tap and separate it so i'll just tip it out of the mold so that's wow what a beautiful block of wax yeah so that stuck to the bottom a bit stuck a bit there but anyway so what you do now is just uh, rinse it a bit with the hose and the mold it's not quite as sticky just rinse it a bit all you do if you want to you can just put it in the sun for five minutes and let the sun warm up that makes it and soften the wax for you and and I'll show you what you do. Once that's warmed up and your wax is nice and soft, is just get a soup spoon and just scrape all this bottom part off. And just sort of scrape it off until it comes nice and clean. Now there's a little bit here that broke off there, but that doesn't matter. So, and another block. Yeah, so you just scrape off all your scrapings into your wax. On this other side here where there's a little bit of stuff floated to the surface there just scrape all that off as well if you want to you know if you don't want to just leave it there. Well we like our blocks of wax nice and clean don't nice we? Nice and clean yeah so, and I just uh, round off all the corners. So here's my block of wax nice and clean ready to sell. Or to it's turn. lovely turn into foundation. Anyway, th thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye.